If you're planning on opening or renovating a salon or barbershop, partner with Minerva Beauty, the trusted equipment provider to over 175,000 beauty industry businesses worldwide. Scrolling their website, you'll be blown away at the wide range of design, styles, color variety, and price points offered, truly suiting the equipment needs of every individual. Don't believe me? See for yourself by visiting Minerva's massive showroom and warehouse in Monroe, Georgia to experience everything their equipment provides for Hand. Minerva's warehouse carries the largest in-stock salon equipment inventory in the world, so most items are available for same-day pickup or shipping. Get started today by shopping at MinervaBeauty.com. Use the code FSE10 to get 10% off Minerva brand items. Exclusions apply. Splitting Hairs free salon education podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T -t Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode number seven of uh, Splitting Hairs, the free salon education.com podcast powered by our friends at Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture, go check them out. MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, I got Brian here with me. Yeah, you do. Carly. Christina. <laughs> it's, an audio, it's an audio show. Carly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like the show. Comment, please. We did get uh, some more comments last week. I actually wanted to read those, but I forgot to put them on there. But uh, a couple people. Somebody said, have you heard the Lady Gaga song, Hair? Yeah. It's tattooed on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and I was like... Um, Oh, did she put out a new song? And then I, so I went and listened to it and then I realized it came out in like 2011. We saw her perform it in concert, Matt. <laughs> I know, together. we all were there. <laughs> Am I that anywhere? Wasn't. Really? You're never Are in you the moment. We talked about this last You're night. You're never in the moment. I know. It. Are you and a body double? <laughs> double? <laughs> I'm like multiplicity, that movie. Are you the no, real you're Megan? Not. Mm -hmm. No, are you the real Kate Middleton? Yeah. <laughs> we found her. <laughs> Could be. Um, yeah, man, I want to be, I got to be better at that. Um, anyways. Yeah, it's literally tattooed on my arm. That's funny. Okay. I never knew that's what that was. Um, <laughs> What'd you think I'm as free as my hair meant? I mean, your last name's hair and I, I don't know. Yeah, all right. right. <laughs> you know what? I didn't really think about it too much. All right. So. Fair. Um, all right. So follow us on Apple Podcasts. Uh, and Spotify. Um, we got a great show today. Excited to just kind of have some open discussions. So make sure you get involved in the chat and in the comments. Um, really today, uh, we want to start off with uh, a fun game. And the game is going to be if you get five tools to use in your day. So like, let's say today, you can only take five things into the salon to do all your clients. What would those five things be? I, I made my list. You want it? Yeah, so let's, yeah that's fine. <clears throat> uh, well, I would take my swivel scissors that I got from you. Okay. My long YS Park comb. I don't remember the number, but I just prefer, I just, I'm more comfortable with the long comb. Okay. Uh, clips because I have tried over the course of my career and I am not a good hairdresser without clips. Okay. Uh, the Dom Dom hair or bristle brush in small because I can get anybody's hair done with that. Okay. And my air wrap and I can knock out everybody and they'll look great. Okay. But what if they want color? Well, sucks. Not today. <laughs> I only have five things. You know, I was thinking about the five things and I was like, so. So one of them's the color bar. Like, <laughs> well, the color bar. Yeah, no. But I was thinking like if, if you had to simplify the five things into actually having color that you could get by for the day. Cause like I understand and I'm not a colorist, so this is why this is so easy for me, Yeah, but I could just definitely have balayage lightener. Okay. And just talk everyone into highlights for that day. <laughs> like orange highlights? Yeah. Orange ones. <laughs> yeah. Who needs to tell Actually, them? if they wanted brighter ones, I'd just leave it on longer. Oh. And then if they wanted orange, balayage lightener? if they wanted some red tones, That's then I just you're... wouldn't leave it on <laughs> as long. So and I Matt, I suggest I have a couple of videos on YouTube about uh, how to get nice bright highlights with balayage. Oh, great. Yeah, I'll watch It's not this. always just leaving it on longer. Oh, yeah. wait, there's hair tutorials on YouTube? Yeah, some. 
<laughs> Apparently not. Okay. Do you uh, want to give your list? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I would say an extra long rat tail comb. Uh, Wait, how long? Like the ones that I have. Like they're like really long. Like I don't okay. like the short ones. I can't. Oh, all right. I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah. I use um, long ones too, I guess. Yeah. Because yeah, the short ones just look weird to me. Uh, yeah. Well, and they, they don't just fit don't, the foil. Yeah. And they don't, they don't the pick thing. up the hair. Yeah. Like it just takes too long. It's just for scratching yeah. itches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, A foiling board. Mm. Um, Because I. I noticed we have a foiling board now. That's mine. And I was like, I she, worked, she worked somewhere else. That's what happened. <laughs> I tried using it. I look. <laughs> very silly i tried using it once too because i had one like, yeah. that somebody gave me and um i actually didn't mind it but no one got into it at all yeah i don't like i'm I'm trying to get it it's just one of those things that it's like oh, i don't have a ton of time what to... do you like about it um so i will say the one that i got i don't like the curve okay. um i when i worked at the other place there it was just flat okay. um so it was really easy to just fold the foils onto that and just kind of like you could fold all of your foils onto it and then fold them like, and it just was quicker. Um, uh, so you put a bunch of foils at once. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, oh. And I also like that. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I have more control with it. I can really get like into like, yeah. in, uh, I do yeah, like the, like it. the nice, even plane for mm -hmm. pressure. Like when you do yeah. it, it's like, yep. yeah, I can get in there, dig through that. Highlight. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, yeah, I love that. Okay. Um, All right, so foiling board. Foiling board, foiling comb, long one. Um, I suggest, foils. I was going to say, I suggest you throw foils in <laughs> foils. there because otherwise. <laughs> um, some kind of like conditioning treatment and toners. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because you're just going to be foiling toner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then let me take the conditioning treatment and Add some we'll do lightener. liner. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what I miss? Talking about and she'll foils. Just chew off the rest of it. Yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> That's yep. where I'll come in because I'm only cutting. <laughs> no, that yeah, you guys yeah. could be a team. Yeah, look at there, you go. there you go. Brian's Perfect. assistant. There you go. Uh, no, talking about foils, I miss the that roll that we had that went with the cart that you could clip like how long you wanted the foil. That was so convenient. The Minerva cart. Yeah. Um, we should get more of that again. The roll foil. We yeah. can. Everyone said they didn't use it. I yeah. did. I That's why we don't have any more. I have a hard time with the box. I don't know. I think I'm just. I so waste. The boxes suck. I waste yeah. so much foil with those boxes. <laughs> they suck. They do suck. Yeah. I, I know. had to tape together <laughs> yeah. a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Uh, that makes they me feel better. Yeah. So let's I get usually the, like, take let's a get lot of foils back. out. So we officially don't like box foils. <laughs> Yeah. No. I mean, we need them because they're it's you, they're usually they a great size, but yeah. they suck. The box to get them sucks. out. Yeah. yeah, I like the roll foil too. I throw two extra foils on the ground, just mm -hmm. pulling the one out that I need, and I then know, I gotta always turn the box it's every so single one. No, it's a waste. It gets stuck. It is a waste. Yeah, yeah. My client's like, no, you can use the one on the floor. I was like, no, staple like, beat it into me. I can't. <laughs> it touches no, the floor. It's dead. I'm paying for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Oh, um, <laughs> reduce, reuse, I'm recycle. I'm teasing. <laughs> Don't come at us. All right. So they were just here the other day. Stay bored. Yeah. Know. Well, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Yeah. She's super cool. You I didn't, didn't see that. Them? No. You were the only thing we got a write up about. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he picked up the foil off the floor. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, everything here. was fine. It's so funny. They walk in. I feel like they walk in here. I didn't see them. You you guys saw them, but mm -hmm. they walk in here and I feel like they're just like, they don't really say much, right? I mean, or did they No, she time? was cool. She was yeah, like- they seem cooler than back in the day. See you in a couple of years. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but you were just yeah. here. Yeah. They were here. To, yeah. It was they, odd. They, they had, always say that and then I think they don't keep their job and then somebody else <laughs> takes over and then right. they come back yeah. and then it's it's always Maybe. somebody different. But, um. All right. And then I guess my five tools, I would, uh, for me, it's, I guess, a little bit easier because I would just pick hair cutting stuff, but I would, I like a precision scissor texturizing a small comb, like the 339 or the 701, like that small comb. And then, um, a blow dryer and a brush. So that's pretty much easy for me All right, and not a round brush. I would, uh, like a vent brush. Okay. I would pick. I get oh. so impatient. I'm so, I try to get into a vent brush and I start so many blowouts with it. And like two minutes in, I'm like, oh, forget it. I'll just use my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, are you like a scraper? Like, a, like a, you are constantly brushing? Because I don't really brush a lot. 
I, I let the air kind of go over the hair and I kind of just, mm. I'm letting the air do most of the work and like the brush. Do. Yeah. Matt's not trying to come home sore. <laughs> well, I do a lot more long hair than Matt does too. Like True. I'm like using it to hold back or direction and all that. I'm like, oh, my hand oh, can do yeah. better. He Forget does it. do a lot more hair in the salon. Like you're a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. mean like lengthwise, but lengthwise, oh, yeah, but yeah. like a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like Matt's, I just stand Matt's there all in day like the, the back room with his mannequins <laughs> with medium length hair all day. His uh, girls who don't oh, mind geez. getting burned with by a vent brush. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> She's like round brush, please. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did anybody have any ones in the chat that they would bring? Um, no. no. I should stop saying that because no one even talks in there. No, but people just are listen. saying, "Hey, like hello." Um, all right. That's good. Hi, sir. Okay. Ooh. Well, sir. Well, we have People. all different country. You know what I mean? So like the. Yeah. Dial- like. Don't get mad addicted to sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be expecting it. Um, sir. <laughs> yes. Sir. Yes, sir. How'd this turn on me? <laughs> I never asked you guys. Cause that. I saw that twinkle in your eye. <laughs> When she read that comment. <laughs> Twinkle. <laughs> Twinkle. A lot of people comment, sir. Yes, sir. Um, all right. So <laughs> I would I'm interested. Do you have five? Like, nope. I know you don't work in the salon, but like, yeah. is there five things that you would be like I would take? Um, I would take one of my favorite stylists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And okay. She bring five, five of her favorite styles. <laughs> Just unleash them. A load of cash. <laughs> um, probably a big Stanley mug of water. <laughs> no, no. If I didn't do it, I don't work in the salon. So okay. maybe if like I needed. You know, I need to do payroll. I need to ship yeah. out scissors. I know, but you I do like to. hair. Yeah. Bring the check. No, I do. You I do, do like, like hair. So I'm just, you know, <laughs> most fascinated by what you, uh, what your brain does. Oh. Um, See, right. I approached that thinking like that list. I was like, if I had to go somewhere outside of the salon to do hair, yeah, what would, and I had like a small bag, what would I put in it? Yeah, that's mm. good. To make sure I can make that's everyone happy. Bag. Well, the bag is one thing, so. Nope. <laughs> I'll, I'll wear cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys uh, comment and let us know what your five things would be? I'd like to know. Um, Today's episode is sponsored by Mevo. Mevo on tour hosted by Mevo Salon and Spa Software is an in-person series of beauty and wellness business conferences spanning five major U.S. cities in 2024. Mevo on tour welcomes spa and salon owners and managers to learn from some of the industry's best, network with like-minded professionals, and walk away with newfound ideas and inspiration to implement in their businesses. Upcoming conference locations include New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, Chicago and Dallas. The conference series includes all day events full of peer to peer networking, interactive strategic sessions on maximizing profit, creating unforgettable guest moments, overcoming industry challenges, and more. For more information about Mevo on tour or to register for an upcoming conference, please visit Mevo.com slash Mevo dash on dash tour. Scary hair moments. That's where we're going next. I got it. A time in the salon. <laughs> When something wasn't going right. I got a doozy. How'd, oh. how'd you overcome it? How did you overcome it? <laughs> Is that weird to say that? No, like, I just can't wait to hear them, but I, you know yeah. where that came that, where that hit in my head, what? it's because of, uh, Sheed. Mm. When he's like, oh, how'd you overcome everything? Like, oh, I, I okay. don't really mean like overcome. I mean like. Oh, no, it's no, if it's scary enough, you need to overcome it. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to okay. hear this. All right, go ahead. Uh, mine was, Matt, you were there. It was like 10 years ago now. And I had this client, I'd done her hair for a while. And she was just always a blonde, like very light, pale blonde. And she comes in and she wants like Nicole Kidman copper. And I was like, perfect. I got the perfect formula for that. And so she had about, you know, normal amount of regrowth. So I put it at her roots and then I had to do the ends. And I just forgot the really important step of dampening the ends before you pull a copper through. Because if you've ever seen copper hair color when it's processing, it is purple. And so when I washed her hair, it was about shoulder length. She had beautiful copper roots and purple hair. 
And she was cool. She's like, well, if this is what we were going for, I would love this. And I'm like, but it's not. So we go back. I take her back into the shampoo bowl and I'm like freaking out. Like this is not a thing that needs to be happening. Like this woman is in her fifties. Like she's not going to, this can't be purple hair. And it just, I mean, I was trying everything we were doing, you know, shampoo and bleach mixed. I was trying color remover and it just was like not really working. I remember at one point I was able to get the purple to turn gray. And I think that was when I panicked the most because I came out and I was like, I can tone any color, but you can't tone you can't, gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once you get gray, that's you're screwed. Mm-hmm. Actually, the perfect description of the color, you know, when you hard boil an egg <laughs> and you pop the yolk out, that color of the gray outside, yeah. that's what color Ugh. her hair was. Yeah. I was in a full panic. Yeah. Egg should not be gray. No, just the yolk. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I remember I came out and I'm like sweating. We're in this for like two hours deep now. And I tell Matt and he's like, well, this gloss is what I use when you need to fix anything. And I tried it and thank God it worked. Like I had lifted her hair enough so that this one, it was a semi-permanent and it kind of leveled it out and got it back to what it was before I even started doing anything. And she was okay. She was fine. But it really, I think overcoming it was just not giving up and just realizing like this has to be fixed. Yeah. And collectively we have the knowledge to do this. Just don't panic and like, you know, do something that you can't come back from. Like, yeah. well, let's just make it dark. Like perseverance. I think that's like the thing with this industry and really it probably anything that you do, but, um, we talked about this a couple episodes ago, but like the confidence of just like, it will be okay. Yeah. You just got to go back to your knowledge. And Mm -hmm. it's something that we're also kind of in our personal life talking about, like with, with Hayden and stuff like just being, um, the more, you know, the less scared you get about things and like, and how you can handle those situations or whatever. Um, that was us talking about it because I told Hayden that the other morning. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you meant on the podcast. Sorry. No, no, Brian. that's what you oh, were saying oh, to Hayden yeah. like the other day. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, it really goes with everything in life, but like the more you learn and the more you consume with understanding wh- what your, what your thing is, whether it's hair color or whatever it is, like. You're less nervous. Yeah. And you can handle those situations. So like somebody that's in school right now, maybe in beauty school or whatever, and you feel like you're making those mistakes, it's actually a good thing because you're building up. Yeah. What to do moments. the next time. Yeah. The reason we knew what to do in that moment was because it had happened before. And, and maybe, and you had a mentor or somebody around you that had been through it and knew how to, yeah. you know, and then you learn and then now you can share that with, with other people. But that's a good one. I actually don't remember telling you the gloss thing. Oh yeah, nine RB. That was nine RB. Yeah, that, that was, was a, your uh, mm, champagne. Your fix yeah. all. Yeah, I learned that from Colin. So that was <laughs> See? at a hair show. It all rolls downhill. Yeah. yeah, um, which is actually kind of a cool thing if you think about it. Because if something just kind of took a little too much, and you add something with like a very light peroxide, like a seven percent or whatever, and it's just gonna pull it. It's just gonna open the cuticle just enough. To uh, let what we didn't want slide out. Yeah, and that 9RB just kind of gives it that little bit of deposit, too. Um, now, mind you, she l- made a huge scene when she left. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that part. She was fine with the color, but I felt bad that she'd been there so long. So I did like a no product, no brush, just use my hands to blow it dry. And it was a little frizzy. Yeah. And then she made such a scene in the salon. Like... I kind of remember this. This was a long time ago. It was. You chased her out the front door because of the <laughs> scene that she made to like try to calm her down. You're like, I could do a haircut for free. And she's like, I'm never coming. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was somehow a success, guys. <laughs> you learned a lot from that. Yeah, yeah that, that was that's, a, that's yeah. never happened again. Positive nope. outcome. <laughs> <laughs> do you have one? Um, <laughs> I mean, I kind of do, but it... it it's not like 
I don't know. I feel like it's going to go against what you all just said about like <laughs> <That's> okay, <laughs> learning though. and knowledge hey, and like all of that. I just gave <laughs> up. Sometimes I'm you can't. Never do a men's hair again. Nope. Sometimes you just can't. You got to know yeah. when to hold Wait. them and yeah. know when to fold them. <laughs> Literally. I folded Kenny. real quick. <laughs> Wait, so you, it was in a men's cut? Uh, yeah. My uh, grandfather was here um, and we he Wait, it was at this. home and uh he <laughs> wanted a haircut i was like yeah you know been working on it i think it, i was living here at the time we were working on it and I'm, i know that in the salon it was taking me like almost two hours to do a men's cut um with clippers and so i started it and i'm like at the back of his head and i'm like going up and i'm like oh i could <laughs> Go up a little more. <laughs> Go up a little more. First mistake right and there. And his hairline started right here <laughs> when I was done with them. So after that, I was like, um, yeah, I think that's it for me. I don't think I need to, you know. Do them ever yeah, again. No, that's yeah. okay. So. You know, yeah. that's an okay lesson too. You it know? was like you just, your first probably ever. Yeah, you were so y- fresh. You were into, so, yeah. 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 But I still yeah. like. I've worked on clipper work and I still just don't get it. Like I, it's hard for me to but it see literally like all visually it is, it's hard for me to see. It's just doing it over and over and over again. Like it's cause I was the same way. Like I shied away. It terrified me. It was years before I was comfortable doing a short like clipper haircut. Mm-hmm. And then eventually it's like you learn a little trick that works for you or Cause there's no one size fits all with that kind of stuff. Like yeah. once you realize like, Oh, when I get to this part of the head, when I do this, yeah, it usually works out. Like it's, you just can't give up. Yeah. Don't practice on me, but like you <laughs> can't give up. I know. I actually wanted to ask you to clean my hair up the, the other day. <laughs> forgot about that story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And there goes the twinkle would, in that yeah, side. No, I, I would totally, I would totally let you. I don't yeah. care. Um, Matt, about, what's your horror story? I mean, I know one that doesn't have anything to do with hair. Yikes. (laughs) Got to spill some tea. I thought she was just getting, I know. The The bath. Oh, that was Uh, bad. Nothing's good when you start with the bath. Remember remember that time in the bathroom that you (laughs) failed? Remember? No, remember the time the bride was crying in the bathroom and wouldn't come uh, out? Yeah, I never and did a bride again after that. Just was like trying to feed her a bunch of Xanax. No. Oh, that was bad. There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> nah, there's not. Let that me tell many. you one that I where I messed up though. Um, so oh, I forgot the picture. Damn. We'll bring that picture. That was a mess up, but we're gonna. I'm gonna keep it to the, in the salon. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was assisting, and and I don't even know if Sam knows that this happened, but when I was assisting, you cut someone's ear off. No, I almost did that in beauty school, but this one. I was ironing his client's hair. I was finishing it and I was hitting it with a flat iron and I 450 degrees, a hundred percent. It was 450 (laughs) degrees. Yeah. And I had, you know, that tool belt we would wear with like all the scissors in it. Well, I left it on my station and I was setting my iron down in between getting the sections or whatever. And I set the iron on my tool belt, which had a vinyl, uh, belt. Mm-hmm. And the belt melted onto the iron, and I grabbed the iron oh, and I went no. into her hair, and it smeared black plastic <laughs> <laughs> all the way down her hair. Like, <coughs> and it just got hard right away. It was like, that's amazing. I made her hair plastic. <laughs> and it sounds like a like a superhero movie. Thank oh, God, oh Sam God. was out smoke like smoking or doing something. Like he was not in the building, and I was finishing his client. And I was like, so uh, that's a learning moment so for wait, him. Never to leave your assistants alone. Yeah. Wow. So I ironed it again and oh, again and what? again. I was Did trying to melt what? it out. Oh, it was in the wasn't back. Wasn't it still on the iron? So, uh, no, it all mm. went onto her hair, and <laughs> oh. um. So I kept ironing over it and it kept melting and like kind of getting further Your down. Your thought process is fascinating to me. <laughs> then I moved on because I didn't want her to notice that I was doing this. So I moved on to the rest and I kept going through and then I would come back to it. I just hit it again. <laughs> By the end, I finally kind of got it out. All right. Oh, okay. But it yeah. was, I mean, still kind of there too, but it, uh, so that never again did I do that. that, so that her wait, hair I be, that reminded me of one, Matt, that I don't know if I ever told you that I did. Yeah. Cause I was working for you. <laughs> um, similar. 
kind of. <laughs> I was doing a bridal party and it was like the maid of honor. And like we, with Paul Mitchell, with all the chopsticks and everything we do, the chopsticks is real cool. So I was in my phase of like spraying the chopstick with hairspray and slicking the hair down to get flyaways. Okay. But I had been using this chopstick for a very long time. And so I spray and this girl was very blonde with her updo and it was done. Like I was just getting the finishing touches. I spray it. And as I wipe the chopstick around the side of her head, all the black plastic <gasps> comes off the chopstick onto this now finished updo. And I'm in a hotel room. It's not like we're here where yeah. you're like, oh, let me wash this Thankfully, and start there's over. there's no mirror, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she can't see my face as I realize this. So my reaction, like I try to pick at it, it's not coming off. And I was like, so I think the flower should go over here <laughs> that you want to put in your hair. <laughs> I just covered it with the flower and sent them to the wedding. No idea how that turned out. This podcast episode is going to stop everyone from calling. <laughs> But I listen to your podcast. I don't want to yeah. come in and get my no, hair done. There's no well, more there's people driving two hours. Every profession. I know, I know. Yes. So funny. You know, We're just happens. willing to tell it. We are human. Oh. Yes. All right. Um, let's uh, let's do trivia. The current score of our trivia is two, Christina, one, Brian, one, me. Goose egg, Carly. Zero, Carly. This is Carly's day. I hope. Whoa. My trivia question is going to be how many <laughs> uh, <laughs> music. What I'm is into it. it. Uh, what did you say, Carly? I said Carly when it finally gets to me and my trivia question, I'm going to say how many times did Carly change her hair color since <laughs> starting this podcast? Three, right? So, yeah. Yep. I win. Yep. <laughs> now I got to go back and watch again. I know. That, that was my but point. But by the time you get to ask, it could be more. Exactly. Oh. Never know. Um, okay, so I was trying to find the question that I... That's okay. Sorry. sorry We're just sorry, grooving sorry. over yeah, here. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone at home is dancing, getting ready for their Friday All right, I'll or just... Monday whenever you're listening to this. I'll just do a different one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we didn't know what the first one was, but... <laughs> All right. Hit us. Okay. It is possible that the mullet has been a part of life right from the beginning. One of the earliest known examples of the mullet can be found on which famous sculpture? Ooh. Ooh. Are you tired of the same old challenges with your shampoo, conditioner, face wash? Well, go check out my friends at formulate.co slash Matt Beck. Get a customized formula. All you got to do is go to their website, formulate.co slash Matt Beck. Take the free quiz and get hooked up with your own personal chemist that's going to help figure out anything that's going on with your hair or skin. So don't put it off any longer. Get the hair and scalp you've always wanted, the skin that you've always wanted. Go check out formulate.co slash Matt Beck. And we're back. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian thinks he knows. I would guess, is it Michelangelo's David? Ooh, all right. Nope. Okay. Damn. All right, Carly. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> The sculpture of a man right there. Sculpture this, of a is man. How, this is how bad I am. I'm like, I don't even know of these sculptures. The only one I know of are probably super racist people or um, Nick well, Foles. It is the mother. So that's, so you might have an advantage here. I, I thought she was going to say like Rocky. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. So the Great Sphinx is hmm. thought to date back to somewhere between. 4,500 and 10,000 years with the short at the front and long at the back hairstyle clearly visible. Hmm. There's also evidence of the mullet in many ancient civilizations such as the Vikings and Aztecs. Wow. I believe that. I need, so, I need to look up a picture of the Sphinx all, though because all I can picture is like a headpiece. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll, have to, I'll put up a picture of it when we... <laughs> all right. So now what? In the final. But... Yeah, so nobody zeros, got that right. Zeros. So who asked How's the question? Feel? So Christina again? <laughs> Probably. Uh, so I get the point? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be good, though. That's not a bad rule to put in, but not this time. But next you time, maybe. You can stump Whatever, everyone. If you winning. can stump, if you stump the group, you get the point. And wow. then that way, people that ask the question can also get a point. Because I'm winning. 
Mm. So we're gonna come up with that rule, and it's gonna happen next week. But I get to answer. I get to ask a question again. But yes. I don't get the. I don't get the point this week, and I stumped you all. I that's feel fine. now. I, hey, that's fine. I'll give you all like I a was, head start. I was that's, gonna say. I'll give you like a little. I know how competitive Christina is. Yeah. So next week it is gonna be the most impossible question. <laughs> How or many or, hairs are on my head or, right now? <laughs> <laughs> or it'll be maybe, maybe I'll just go with one that I think Carly might yeah. know. That should should be nice. Know? What's should, Carly's middle name? Yeah. Should we make the question <laughs> oh, um, everyone knows. multiple choice? Well, <laughs> if you want, but then whatever. I'm not scared. Carly Louise. <laughs> I'm scared. I, like, I feel like I'm never going to know any of them. Lu- Louise. Louise. Carly How? Louise. I mean, no. it's got a that ring. It doesn't really. It sounds like it's got a mullet. <laughs> it does. Um, Carly Ray. Did anybody? That's in the, cute. Anybody in the chat get that? Because she's a ray of sunshine. Um, oh. No, but they. I don't. They weren't answering. You know. What Carly is wrong George. With the chat. Nothing. They're just saying hello. Love it. True Are they confessions. talking to each other? Like they're talking about what we're talking about. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Love that. Um, Dyson back in the news. Oh yeah. Do we throw that up? Yeah. Let me uh, click on the article. Here is the, uh, Oh, Oh, geez. Here we go. Here's the look at their new blow dryer, which looks like the old blow dryer, but it has a different backing to it. They say it's a little bit smaller. Um, and they're it, really leaning into this blue and orange, and I think it just makes yeah, it look cheap. I'm having a hard time with the blue and orange, too, and then it's teal, and the other one is teal and some. Like, but, some of their colors look good, but this blue and orange combo just makes it look like a toy that is not worth $700. I was, so it's $500, right? Yeah, but the the other one, the professional one. The other one's 575 or something, right? I don't know. Okay. You I'm still paying. You're just it. talking right out of... Well, the one I'm used talking to about be tax, 700, Matt. <laughs> like about, about 700 bucks, wasn't it? The, the air wrap. Shipping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The air wrap is close to that. Um, I'm not buying mine in Delaware. Costs. Don't you remember? <laughs> we're, we love to use Dyson, but we love to talk shit about it. I know. It. Don't you remember <laughs> this about... But Dyson that's, is that's never, all in life. <laughs> never, ever going to sponsor us, ever. Because... But we do talk about them a lot. And honestly... No, we don't talk shit. I'm not... I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, we're not. No. Yeah, we, we love you guys. That's Please, a joke. let us be an ambassador. That's a joke. Um, um, sarcastic. So the... I kind of went all over. I, at first I saw this, I was like excited because I was like, I like this blow dryer better than the pro looking one. Okay. Um, in my opinion, I don't... That little... It looks like a candy cane and I just want... I like a little bit beefier blow dryer and I like the LED backing of this. Um... Then I started reading about it and I was like, I don't know if I want my blow dryer telling me I get it for a consumer. Like right. as it gets closer to the scalp, it has a safety thing and it calms the heat down or whatever. But I don't know if that's actually what I want. Well, that's and what they're I, not making it for us, but right. I, I think they're starting to lean into uh, like they're diverging. There's stuff for us and stuff for consumers. Yes. Like, you know, the, the old question of my clients asking, is the blow dryer worth it? I'm like, I mean, for me, yeah, I don't know. But now it's making it something. Yeah. I, cause I completely agree. Like it calming the airflow would just piss me off all day. Cause I do what I do the way I do it and just let me do it. Yeah. But I can see that being really good for people at home that maybe are not expert blow dryers mm-hmm. at protecting their hair. And one of the best features about this to me personally is when you set it down, it shuts off. Oh, mm, that's cool. That is and nice. When you pick it up, it turns back on. Wow. Like that for anybody doing yeah. hair at home or like I like to, if, as a professional, if you're blow drying, I love that this is like my blow dry yeah. form, but <laughs> if you're blow drying and then you want to uh, let the blow or let the round brush cool down, you take out the section, you want to roll it up, put a clip in it. I got to put my blow dryer somewhere and I hate just putting it down. I don't hate it. It's that's obnoxious, but like, you know what I mean? Like I, no, if I could just set it down and it shuts off and then pick it back up and we're back yeah, to it's work. A, it's super efficient. And why doesn't the, pro, I don't think the pro one does that, No, but that would be awesome if it did. Yeah. And I don't know. So like if I can turn off the smart system of the, or it's not that big of a deal, the scalp thing, I might actually go with this one as opposed to the pro one, because I like that Mm. feature of being able to set my blow dryer down. So let's do that. I'll go pro. You go that one. Okay. 
Deal. I'll do the candy cane. I'll put it in my pocket. So this in comes out. Sections. <laughs> it doesn't look like a candy cane. It looks like um the dentist tool, the little oh, suction yeah, yeah. dentist yeah. tool. That's it every time like I see pick. that. that yeah. Mm. yeah, that's what it looks like. It sounds like it probably too. <laughs> yeah. What Actually. are we talking about? What it looks like? That? The supersonic the other, R. Yeah, the yeah, pro. The other one. The pro one we were talking about. It's right here. This one. Mm. His hand is kind of blocking the curve, but it just. Oh. It's just a tube. It just curves around like that. Oh. But you're right. It looks like the dentist thing, and it probably sounds exactly like <laughs> yeah. that too. Nice. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's uh. I don't know which one of you guys feeling like you're get if any if none. Like what do you, what are your guys' thoughts um in the chat? I want to know what yeah five sixty nine Brian people is use. the pro okay and four ninety nine is this one so and it comes out in May. Um, Have they said when the pro one comes out yet? I'm on the list for the notification, but I'm not seeing that. But maybe they've announced it somewhere. I haven't seen that yet. But I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird in my ears. <laughs> all right. That's what she said. Um, all right. It's time to go, but uh, we got to spin the wheel. So if you want to spin the wheel, let us know in the chat right now. Spinning the wheel is basically um, your chance to win something from our online store, shopfse.com, uh, scissors, combs, uh, tri razor, Evo razor, all that stuff. We got Mevo on the board. You could win a trip to one of their upcoming conferences. And then also MinervaBeauty.com uh, is giving away, I believe, still a Theragun uh, from their website, but they have a ton of different uh, salon furniture. And then also Formulate.co slash Matt Beck. If you guys want custom formulations, they're giving one away on the wheel. Brian's going to give this thing a spin. Who's going to wait? Wait, we got to see who wins, though. How do you want to pick? Anybody saying anything? Are we communicating? Oh, Bobby Jeffries, spin the wheel. All, All right, right, Bobby, let's spin the wheel for you. Bobby. <laughs> and it is... A Sweet. Comb. Little FSC That's a 701. Pack. That was part of my five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 701 comb. Nice. Honestly, Bobby, you could take a look at our website and pick any comb that's in stock on there and email us, uh, matt at freesaloneducation.com. Uh, give me your address, phone number, and uh, full name and what comb you want, and we'll send you out a brand new comb. Gorgeous. Wow, that ended like perfectly. That, that music. That music, yeah. yeah. That's, your, uh, that's your radio your pedigree timing. right there. Great show. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great call on having more conversation in the show. Thanks. Yeah. I think, you know, it's a podcast, so it's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That became Last week with the videos, I was like, this is not what, this yeah. is hard to explain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's explain what's going on in the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I liked it. Did you guys like it? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Oh, wait. I do have a quick question for everyone. If, if, they're listening if they could let us know because next week we're going to talk about brands and oh, yeah. kind of like what brand you love and why and also do they offer perks yeah like for, education um education points towards um retail anything back bar like whatever whatever brand you feel because we're we might be shopping around yeah we know a lot about the different brands but i want to know the inside of Mm -hmm. more or less customer service and their and how you're treated and you know what your money kind of gets you yeah just curious yeah let us know what brand you use do you like the education do, you, do they have perks and points and all that yeah cool cool all right guys subscribe to the channel uh follow us on everything follow brian hairstyle carly hair by carly c and follow us everything at free salon education make sure you subscribe to the podcast and the channel and hit that notification bell so you get alerts every time we go live uh thank you guys so much for joining us have a great week weekend uh and we'll see you guys on the next show bye, bye. goodbye